Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another visual pattern challenge. Here's our pattern today. We've got figure one, figure two, figure three, and your challenge is to predict how many triangles are going to be in figure four. If you can do that, can you predict how many in figure 43? And could you write an equation that could be used to predict the number of triangles in any figure at all? So that's the challenge. If you'd like to accept it, pause the video and see what you can do. Okay, so we've got some uh, interesting patterns of triangles here. It looks like the triangle gets bigger and then it gets cut into smaller triangles inside it. Um, actually, these colors are pretty useful, right? So here's green one and then we've added three yellow ones on top of that. And then here's the green one and the three yellows. And then it looks like we've added five pink ones. Aha, so it's this sort of outer layer of triangles and it looks like it gets two longer every time, right? We have one and then this is three and this is five. So for figure four, I'd guess we'd add seven more uh, and it would make that triangle bigger. So let's see, let's add this up. That is one, 16. So I my prediction for figure four is we're gonna have 16 triangles. But let's take a minute and analyze this pattern. Maybe you're already seeing something, but it should become pretty obvious when we lay out the numbers here. So I'm going to put the step number, well, figure number, and then the number of triangles here. Uh, in figure one, we have one triangle. In figure two, we have four. In figure three, we have nine. And in figure four, we have 16. Now, you might already be noticing something special about these numbers, but uh, typically, when we analyze these, we take the differences between each step. So 4 minus 1 is 3, 9 minus 4 is 5, 16 minus 9 is 7. We don't get a constant there, so this is not a linear pattern. When that's the case, you can take the difference of the differences. 5 minus 3 is 2, 7 minus 5 is 2. When you get a constant there, you know it's a quadratic pattern. So x squared is going to be in this uh, equation somehow. And the somehow, once you look at the numbers, uh, should be pretty easy to figure out. And maybe you saw that right away. These are all perfect squares that relate exactly to the figure number. So 1 is 1 squared, 4 is 2 squared, 9 is 3 squared, etc. So our equation is just y equals x squared. Not too tough. One, one thing you might notice from this is kind of interesting. The perfect squares you can get them by just adding the next odd number up, right? So one squared, you just have one. Two squared, you have the one and the three. Three squared, one, three, five, added together. Four squared, one, three, five, seven. So the next one, you add nine to that. And yeah, if you add nine to 16, you get 25. If you add 11 to 25, you get 36. So this pattern of adding the successive odd numbers gives you the perfect squares. Kind of cool. All right, all we need to do is figure out how many in step 43, and that shouldn't be too tough. We're just going to have to take the figure number 43 and square it, and that is 1,849 triangles in figure 43. So how did that go for you? Did you see that? Did it jump out at you from the numbers that these are the perfect squares? Uh, did you figure out some different way? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.